All right, here's a situation that we don't run into a lot, but we do see it, uh, especially in the spring when the grasses start to grow. This is a gutter, uh, and this is a, a, one of those um, one of those roofs that uh, have pigeon issues, and you can see the pigeon droppings down here in the flashing. Let's see, right here, you see the pigeon droppings? That's what this is in the gutter. It's just full of bird droppings. Uh, it also comes down on this lower roof, gets uh, in the gutter below where the other grasses grow. It makes things grow really good, but it's not good for flashings. Uh, it's it's going to be into that roof-to-wall flashed area. And if we look underneath, you can see it's kind of white up in there. That's where the pigeons like to go and nest. They uh, lay their eggs two to three times a year and uh, make uh, bigger pigeon families that make a bigger problem. So here's a, uh, here's a deal where, where there's a pigeon issue. Uh, it's good to keep the gutters clean. The acid level in, that, in those bird dropping, droppings will rust the gutters out pretty fast. So if you have birds and you're going to keep them or let them have your roof, then you need to make sure you keep your gutters really clean a couple times a year. Okay, here we have uh, major debris in the valley. This is uh, an accumulation of bird droppings for the most part. And you can kind of see the expired bird here. Um, there's uh, going to be some major debris above and below in the valley here, as well as the valley above. Uh, we have to open the valley up. Clean it all out, put it back together, and hope, hopefully the bird situation goes away.